Vati leto taka kumesa. Kuglis katsa manje kisita kumisa na na Secretary General wayo i kumesa na na paeveni eh, lote guta ifula ngom eh, le modern trade hub le eh, ngutileshe ka kwe kwe. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure having you on the show this morning. My pleasure to be here. And uh, to talk about such an important, uh, 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 important piece of information. Uh, first of all, before we go any further, maybe let's talk about uh, uh, COMESA and um, uh, what COMESA is and how countries benefit from being members of COMESA, especially because we as a country are members of COMESA and uh, uh, we were basically among the founding members when the organization was established in 1984. Yes, COMESA is um, the biggest uh, regional economic community in Africa. Mm -hmm. It has 21 members okay. and over 550 million people. Uh, so it spans from as far south as Eswatini mm -hmm. and as far north as Tunisia. So it, it covers quite a large area and it's a huge uh, potential market for any member country. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the, the benefits for, for for member countries is, uh, is market access to start with mm -hmm. because um, we, with the um, setup of a free trade area, it means that goods can be traded um, without uh, tariffs, which mm -hmm. makes them more competitive. Mm -hmm. And also we are trying to um, address a lot of issues to do with trade facilitation so mm -hmm. that goods become more competitive and can be um, easily moved across countries. Mm -hmm. uh, countries can also become a part of the value chain, which is another area where we're trying to develop to, to again increase the market access. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking at issues of um, certification and how goods um, are made more uh, um, conform, conform better to international market requirements mm -hmm. and other market requirements, which again expands um, the market of member states. Yeah, beyond the, the, the African uh, uh, continent. In fact, then if we meet these international standards, obviously then we can start trading abroad. And, 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 and that's good for the economy, I suppose. Now, um, you are here talking about how you also help countries in as far as getting them ready for the international market. The subject of your visit here is, of course, the uh, opening of the uh, modern trade hub that's going to be situated in Manzini. And basically, that's more tailored for women uh, traders and more importantly, and including women in rural Eswatin. Let's talk about that and how that is going to capacitate these women to then be at a position where they can start trading within the Comesa block and even possibly beyond the African continent. Yes, um, I'm here yes, primarily to, to, to sign off the, uh, the financing of, of this project, mm -hmm. um, which is also includes uh, private sector uh, support. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're looking at is actually the physical facility, which is the actual infrastructure for the way the more than 600 women and 400 businesses mm -hmm. um, can, can, can trade in a, in a facility that has all the amenities that are required mm -hmm. for them to be, to be able to comfortably um, come from all over the country and are able to be housed and, 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 and make their goods, um, prepare their goods for, ready for, for market. But more importantly are the linkages because we, 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 we realize that um, the, the handicrafts and other goods that the women um, are making available for, to, the, to the market we can support the improvement of that. Mm -hmm. For example, we do have an institution under Comesa, which is Africa Leather and Leather Products Institute, mm -hmm. which can help to train um, to, to train um, people in, in 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 better you know value addition to mm -hmm. to, to the goods um, to, to make the, 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 the products you know more um, conform to you know requirements for for the market, and also to, to you know take advantage of the of the unique um, products that are actually produced in Eswatini yeah. and, and you know the unique African features that are, have become quite um, a demand uh, for, for the rest of the, of the, of the, of the market. Mm -hmm. So to, to support them to make sure that the goods are up to standard and conformity and also you know better ways of, of production so that um, they can mm -hmm then expand their capacity to, to meet the market demand. Oh, okay. So w will this hub specifically cater for women, or uh, 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 is it the sector that you are most interested in, that of handicraft work? How is it going to be structured? 
it's handicrafts and foodstuffs. Okay. Um, our, our focus, um, we do have in our commercial treaty um, particular attention to women mm -hmm. and youth. Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, this is an intervention that we focus on them, but that does not exclude other players. Uh, other players, yes. of course, other players I I I I in the same industry. Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, l l let's talk about how, uh, of course, the, the, the uh, hub itself, as you said, will, will help these women uh, to then sort of meet international standards and the idea is for them to then access uh, the uh, Comesa market, as you've said, more than 500 million uh, individuals. That's quite a big market. But um, maybe it take us through some of the nitty gritties of how this is going to be achieved. How are they going to uh, re reach that stage? Is there going to be some training that they're going to have to go through? Um, you know, someone guiding them and, and, and giving them the information on what is the uh, requirement, basically? Yes, I think I've, I have mentioned that we have a leather um, institute, mm -hmm. which is one of our institutes, which is um, which does um, not only um, uh, provide the training, okay. but also can also support um, in its you know issues like um, uh, requiring uh, acquiring the correct uh, type of equipment that mm -hmm. can maybe help them to 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 produce um, maybe even more even rapidly. more than maybe what they are doing uh -huh. doing right now. Oh, okay. Yes, and and in case of foodstuffs, um, helping with the the. the a certification infrastructure yeah. locally, including trying to support with um, um, labs, laboratories, which which can then put um, the foodstuffs on the market that they can actually um, conform to the requirements. Oh yeah, especially when it comes to food, because yeah. you need to be very very, very careful. Yes. And uh, lots of different markets, even within the Comesa block, have mm. lots of different mm -hmm. requirements, mm -hmm. and it's best to try and meet most or all of them mm -hmm. so that you can easily access expand, uh, the, yeah. the, the expand. Yeah. okay now what are the biggest problems when it comes to trade uh, especially for women in Eswatini especially for women in rural Eswatini is the linkages something that you spoke to earlier on and linking them to the markets that they would like to then sell their wares to uh, my question would be does the uh, hub also have communication facilities um, and will these women be uh, capacitated on the use of these communication facilities such as the internet for instance uh, and other uh, you know internet based communication services that are a lot more uh, 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 that are relatively cheaper when, 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 when compared to your conventional uh, sort of landline or cell phone communication yes we do, we do actually have a project which is um, in, in the process of, okay. of development, which is called 50 Million African Women Speak. Mm -hmm. And this is a platform, um, a digital platform, okay. um, which um, is being supported by the African Development Bank, mm -hmm. but is, is a composition of Comesa, um, mm -hmm. um, East African Community, and uh, ECOWAS, which is the West African um, Economic Community. Mm -hmm. So this will be linking as it's, as it's a project named. Mm -hmm. um, the effort is to link 50 women on a, a platform where they can easily communicate with each other mm -hmm. and, and share information, financial information, mm -hmm. issues around trade and what goods they mm -hmm. have and how they can access and any other issues that they may want to, to share. So that, that's a very useful platform uh, for women, for example, entrepreneurs who maybe are trying to start out and they can less, lesson, learn lessons, share experience, mm -hmm. and so on. But um, more importantly, from a regional commercial perspective, we're also developing um, a digital free trade area, which means mm -hmm. um, we could have a platform based on e-commerce. Mm -hmm. So you can get on the platform and show your goods and, and somebody sitting so many thousands of kilometers away yeah. can, can, can see what you're selling okay. and, and be able to then, you know, transact. But with that will have to come, of course, this, the support that is required to for such an environment and that will um, entail e-legislation. So yeah. the kind of legislation the that financial will, yeah, institutions, institutions as well and, you know, financial payment systems mm. and the logistics, how, what mm -hmm. kind of documentation do you use in electronic form and so on. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so those are the kind of areas we're looking at to expand the market, to collapse the distances and, and make it and easy use to technology. access it. Yes. Okay, I use the technology too. All right, thank you very much. So uh, just quickly, if anyone wants to be a member of or wants to make use of a hub, are, are, are the individuals, because you gave a specific number, you said about 600 women, um, have, the, uh, have the doors been closed and it's just the 600 women that will access or the 600 is just an estimate? And it's, it's, it's an estimate. Okay. Yeah, I can't say the door has been closed. I don't think so. Uh, okay. okay, okay. But of course, it's, it's a practical issue how okay. many how many business can you house in any you know, yeah. in the given space that yeah. we will create okay yeah. all right thank you very much thank you very much i'm going to give this commission a lap and a long year and a secretary general and why we commit on a lap even the long one against the hotel about how so we saw seven long cool we will soon miss a lap in zao but my labana corner would see by 70 select about the pressure of a bandy you are cool got the level of in down 70 with down the number of things are good but i'm going to go to the best of a family at the market at the lap a bullet block here Commerce, Lila Pa, Evening at the African Domasa, she told Ang twenty one in Mave, Lama Lunga, I commerce, Gansi, Banvula Bagula or Mave, Bafiga, Eti Kitsini, Lady Makula Slan, which is a five hundred million. That's a big market that we can make use of as well, especially because we are a small country and you find that our wares don't really access that big a market if we just look at what we can or who we can sell to internally. All right, let's quickly take a break now. We'll continue with the show. Kusile, good morning.